Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dr. Sheet and I thank you very much for tuning in. And this here, what you see here, is an Illigu 3D printer. And not just any 3D printer, it's a resin printer. So this printer doesn't eject plastic, it cures plastic, it cures resin. And this is also my first resin printer in this series. This is the first video of a series of videos. I'll take you on a tour of resin printing, 3D printing out of resin. So again, I'll, uh, I'll do several videos. In this video, I'm gonna tell you what, what things you need, apart from the, the printer you see here. Uh, you'll need, well, obviously resin, but there's a lot of a lot of things involved as well. Again, in this video, I'm gonna show you what I ordered after doing some research, and I'll tell you why I ordered, what I ordered. <laughs> you serious? So the purpose of this video, the thing you should get out of this video, for you the value of this video, should be that, uh, well, my research <laughs> is all in this video. I've done uh, a lot of research into resin printing, uh, I've watched videos, other videos uh, on the YouTube channels, and uh, this is what I got out of that. So again, hopefully this will be useful to you. If you want to get into resin printing, this video should tell you uh, the starting kit, what the starting kit is to get into resin printing. Well, obviously you first, first of all, need a printer and I've ordered an illegal printer. I recently did an uh, extrusion uh, printer. I uh, tested, reviewed an extrusion printer from Illigo and I found that, um, their manufacturing is top notch and their shipping, the, the, the packaging and such is very, very professional. And well, uh, this is again uh, my first uh, resin printer, but it's also very sturdy, very well built. The resolution is high of this uh, printer. It's not uh, very big, but I wanna, well, I wanna print smaller but intricate things with this printer. That's why I ordered this printer. I'll also do a separate video, a bit of an unboxing and first impressions, and in this video I'll show you uh, the assembly process. There's not a whole lot to it, but in that video, in that video which will be part two in the series, I'll show you, well, this printer, its details, and what you want to know about this Illigo Mars 3 Pro 4K. So again, obviously you need a printer, but what's next? It'll come as no surprise to you that you need resin. Yeah, it's a fluid uh, in this canister. Uh, resin for 3D printers is usually, I think, uh, shipped uh, to you in, well, flasks. Plastic, non-translucent, not unimportantly, uh, well, canisters, if you will, fl flasks. And so this is also from Illigo. I ordered it with a printer, right, as you do. This is half a liter, probably more or less 500 grams. And this is a mint green resin and it's ABS like. So this will be a hard plastic. The end product of our print with this resin, resin should be a hard plastic. There's all kinds of resins. Yeah. And as this is all new to me, I've ordered a resin and uh, do some googling, there's a lot of uh, resins, but needless to say, you will need some resin. Now, I don't want to say that uh, the resin is toxic, it's not, but it's uh, not great to get it on your hands on, or on your mouth. In your, definitely don't want to have that resin in your eyes. So while working with the resin, maybe cleaning the print afterwards, uh, you will have to, uh, well, have to, you should protect your hands and um, easily be able to take off any resin residue that's on your fingers. Therefore, I've uh, ordered me a box of disposable latex gloves. In hindsight, I would probably order um, reusable um, uh, washing up gloves, if you will, rubber gloves. But, well, these are super duper cheap, by the way. Uh, the printer you just saw also came with a couple of these uh, latex gloves. And um, yeah, again, I got me a box of uh, 100 <laughs> of these uh, latex gloves. But again, um, 
if, after I've uh, run out of these, I'll uh, order up some uh, normal reusable gloves. Better for the environment, right? So also, I've uh, this is uh, one of a few. I've got me a couple of um, uh, toothbrushes with supple brushes. Yeah. Also to clean. Well, also to clean off your prints afterwards. Get the residue of the resin off of your prints. A couple of old, maybe older toothbrushes will do the job for that. And uh, while cleaning the print, uh, that might be new to you. Uh, if you uh, have ever used uh, extrusion printers, there's no cleaning required at all afterwards. Resin prints you will need to clean, as the print you've just finished will again have residue uh, on it, which you will be have to clean up. So I've or, uh, ordered me this uh, plastic sealable box, sealable box, and in this box I'll dump some uh, alcohol. Yeah, cleaning alcohol. And it's important to have a, a box that can be well sealed, with a rubber seal, this box. So that, that alcohol doesn't evaporate, right? It doesn't smell great. So uh, this box is a little bit smaller than I would have liked. Then again, the printer I've ordered doesn't make huge prints. But again, um, I'll be looking out for a slightly bigger box than this. This is a 2.5 liter box, uh, maybe a 4 liter box would have been ideal. But again, the, uh, the most important thing about this box is that you can that it seals well. This is a, uh, a box, box uh, to preserve foods in, so it should seal well. And while uh, cleaning and maybe uh, snipping off supports of my prints, um, I want to work on trays. Now these are actually lids. <laughs> these are trays, but because they are called lids, <laughs> they were a lot cheaper. So that might be a tip for you. Um, again, this is simple plastic tray. So I've ordered uh, two, or I bought two, to have one that's dirty. So the first stage in cleaning, if you will. And then um, after, have, after having cured maybe the print, well, this, is, this should be the, the, the cleaner station of my finishing setup, right? Hope that makes sense. So I'll first do the cleaning on, on this tray, maybe uh, remove the supports. And then after that, I don't want to uh, contaminate this, this next station, if you will. Now this next device is um, kind of optional. Well, yeah, partially optional. This is also from Illigu, so I ordered me a bunch of stuff from <laughs> Illigu. This is called the Mercury Plus, and I'll do a separate video on this uh, device, as it's super smart. I wasn't planning on do a, doing a separate video on this, on this device, but it's so smart, it deserves a separate video. You will definitely want to know about this these kinds of devices, but also this device in particular, if you want to go into uh, resin printing. So what is this? This is a curing station. And in, in case you didn't know, the prints you make from resin need to be cured with UV light. And you can do that uh, in sunlight. <laughs> sunlight contains UV light, but that's not ideal. So this device, has a an, uh, a bar at the at the end with UV lights in it. It has a rotating bed, so it'll rotate your print in front of those UV lights, curing the entire print. So that's one thing it this device will do for us: curing, making the the prints hard, finalizing the print. But it's also a cleaning station. Yeah, so what I told you before, I'll be doing some cleaning by hand in that uh, bucket. But this is my stage two cleaning. And I do this to have the alcohol that's, that'll be in this, in this here canister stay relatively clean, right? The prints I'll put in this cleaner will already be semi-clean. 
but this will be my, well, finishing station, if you will. Yeah, um, again, I'll do a separate video on this, uh, why and how and, uh, and such, so that you know about the ins and outs of a station, a curing and cleaning station as, as this is. And this here, this canister, is actually the last thing I ordered to get into resin printing. This is a, how much liter? 5 liter jug of isopropyl alcohol. And again, this I'll be, I'll be using to clean the prints. I'll fill this uh, plastic box, well fill 75% of this uh, plastic box with this. And uh, I'll uh, fill that cleaning station with isopropyl alcohol. There, uh, there are other liquids you can use to uh, clean your prints, but I've ordered this and uh, from a lot of videos this should work well. Uh, again, maybe in a future video I'll try some other liquids, but you will need something, an abrasive uh, fluid to uh, clean your prints. Get the resin residue off of your prints. Now this, uh, this stuff definitely doesn't smell nice and it's also flammable apparently, yeah. And uh, so again, make sure that whatever you put this in can be sealed well. I've ordered five liters, that might be a little much. But that uh, cleaning station you just saw can hold one and a half liters I think, so maybe five liters isn't all that much. Okay, and the last thing I actually ordered was a uh, plastic cloth to cover the table I'll be putting. Well, especially the alcohol, but also uh, the resin that might spill. You don't want to screw up the nice table you'll be using. Uh, this uh, video was uh, shorter than I had anticipated, which is always uh, nice. There's, there shouldn't be more to it than that. That's all that you should need to get into 3D printing with a resin printer. Now as time goes on, as uh, with any hobby, is this a hobby? This is basically a tool. But with anything you'll amass more things in time, right? Uh, let me see. Yeah, well actually the, these kinds of printers will always come with some tools, definitely some tools, but maybe you'll need uh, or want better tools uh, eventually. Maybe some spares and printers like this will have a resin bath as you see it here. Maybe you want a second one to be able to quickly switch from resin to resin without dumping the resin out, for instance. But again, the list uh, from this video should be enough for you to get started. And I'll also have that list in the description down below if you wanna look that up. And that's it. Uh, if you have input, maybe you are uh, more experienced than me with resin printing, could well be. Uh, don't, definitely don't hesitate to, uh, well, add things in the comment section below. Not only for me, but for others as well. Thank you very much in advance. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate uh, to ask either. For now, I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Bye bye.